Hello everyone. My name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul Kiva Labs. So in this session, uh, we will see how we can do uh, the execution of test cases in TestLink test management tool. Uh, so as you all can see on the screen, uh, I have few steps mentioned out here. So uh, we will read these steps one by one and then we'll get to know how we can do the execution right so uh, just to let you know guys we can execute the test cases manually as well in test link as well as uh, with the help of automation as well using the selenium code so uh, that also we will see uh, uh, in the later tutorial how we can execute automatically by running the selenium scripts and uh, for that we may be requiring uh, the test link uh, apis you know and this is the link for the API so that we will see uh, some time later uh, in today's tutorial we will uh, look at how we can do the manual execution of the test cases in test link okay uh, so these are some of the you know points mentioned out here so create a test plan using the test plan management and then you have to select the particular test plan uh, for that particular test case and put the test case into the test plan uh, then create a build in the test plan using build management and then click on execute test right so uh, i'll mention these steps in uh, the video description as well so uh, let us see uh, let's log in into test link and see how we can do that okay so this is my test link 1.9.16 mocha pot so let me log in into that Okay, so this is my, uh, you know, the dashboard or you can say the home page for the test link. Now, uh, to execute the test cases, first of all, uh, let's try to add a test case, right? So, for adding the test case, go on the left hand side and you will see uh, something called test specification, right? So, click on test specification. Right, so this, this is your, you know, project name that uh, is being displayed here and this is the module that is already present and one test case is already present here so uh, we will try to add a test case one more test case so for that click on this settings button and it will tell you test suit operations so uh, okay let's create a folder folder nothing is it's nothing but a suit or a module right so uh, you can say like lib test module right and click on save any details if you want to give you can uh, give it out here right now uh, when you click on this particular module on the right hand side you will see all the details like uh, the test suit name and etc if any files are attached or any other details are mentioned out here so uh, click on the settings button and here you will see test case operations so click on test case operations <coughs> test case title so testing the user id uh, some uh, dummy uh, test case title i have given and uh, summary if you want to give you can give the summary preconditions if you want to give you can give the preconditions and click on create a lot of other things are option you know present out here right so uh, uh, you know importance like medium high low and status is draft ready for review whatever so as of now it is draft right uh, execution type is manual so we have two options present out here manual and automated so we will uh, select as manual execution time uh, how much time you took to execute this test case etc uh, something like that so uh, these are all the details you can mention out here now uh, we have added the test case now let's add few steps login is successful right so uh, these are the just uh, two steps that i have added out here and uh, that is fine so if you click on save and exit so your test case is created right uh, okay now uh, we need to attach you know the test plan uh, to this test case so if you go here and you go to the test case 
right right so you will see certain options out here so one of the options here is add to test plans <coughs> okay so we have already created a test plan uh, say for example library test plan select this and click on add right so yeah so this is a test case and your uh, test plan is added out here this is the test plan mentioned here right uh, now uh, of course yeah requirement also you need to add it so click on the requirements and these are the available requirements so I'll select this as a requirement and click on assign right? so your requirement is assigned now click on close so we have assigned the requirement to the test case we have given the test plan to the test case uh, now let's try to execute this test case so for execution uh, go to the home page and on the right hand side you will see a box called as test execution so click on execute tests now if you come down you will see all uh, the modules uh, that are present here in your system or in a project and this is a test case right so click on that particular test case and the test case will open right so these are the certain uh, details and the status is not run as of now because we have not uh, executed it right okay so these are the steps that we wrote for the test case and on the right hand side you will see the result right so a result is passed failed or blocked uh, passed failed or blocked uh, right so what you can do is if you want to execute step by step so you have to do it manually so say for example you open the website website is opened successfully and you can give some execution notes like success and you can select as passed then login with six character ID login is successful so if this is also pass you can give a success and you can select as passed right okay now if you come down and on the right hand side you will see a small box in that you th see you can see three options click set to passed click set to failed and click set to blocked so since uh, we mark both the steps as passed so what we can do is we can click on this happy sign right now if you see here your test case status is passed uh, this is the date and this is the time when you have passed your test case right and uh, so yeah so your execution of the test case is done this is the you know execution history is present out here and your test case is passed so this is how you can do uh, the manual execution of the test case so for manual execution you have to either you know execute uh, the steps or directly you can go on this option and you can select the option that you have that you want say for example now uh, I want to fail this test case I'll click on this button or the sad sign right so see here this is the date the status is changed to failed right so earlier we did a success now we did a failed similarly if uh, say for example this test case is blocked due to uh, uh, some uh, defect or something right so if you select the third option right so now it is blocked so here you can see a kind of history present here right first it was passed then it was failed and then it was blocked so it's a kind of execution history that uh, you can see in test link here and uh, this is how you can execute the test cases manually so this is the one test case I have shown you similarly uh, any number of test cases that you have in your uh, particular module whichever module so you can go to the test case you can make it a pass or you can make it as a fail right and another important thing is you can see here important notice right so once it once the result is updated from not run to another value means like passed failed or blocked you cannot set it back to not run right but you can still set the result to any other value that is why if you see here we do not have any option to set it to no run either we have passed either we have uh, blocked or we have failed right so this is how you can do the execution of test cases in test link i hope you all uh, you know uh, got it how to do that and if any questions or doubts you can uh, just comment on uh, the video and uh, i'll be happy to assist you so that's it for uh, this video and for the automatic execution, uh, I'll show you in the uh, next session or next tutorial. So till then, uh, keep learning. Take care. Bye-bye.